Hi everybody, Dave with Roscomet USA. Today we're going to do vertical tapping with the Tiger 110 electric. Uh, once the machine is set up and bolted to the table, first thing we need to do is turn it on. This machine has variable speed on both the clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. We're going to start out at 50%. We have a 550 RPM module in the machine. Uh, the first thing we want to do is take the arm off the magnet, make sure that it's balanced for the weight of the module. Modules do have different weights, so it affects the overall balance. So we'll get it balanced for the weight of the module. We have a torque control tap adapter with an M8 tap. As I mentioned, we're at 50%. The first thing that we always want to do when tapping vertically was we want to make sure both of the locks on the machine are locked. The only time that we would need to unlock these is when we're horizontal tapping. So we're going to bring the tap into a hole, a little bit of cutting fluid, So that was at 50%. Since we're doing an M8 tap, we can run it at full 100%. So we're going to do a hole now at 550 RPM. As you notice, the torque control tap adapter clutched out when it hit the bottom of the hole. If this was a through hole, we wouldn't necessarily need to use a torque control tap adapter, but we do always recommend them because it helps with aiding in tap breakage. So the machine is really easy. Clockwise is the down button. Counterclockwise is the up button. We're going to do one more hole, but I'm not going to stop when I've hit the bottom. I'm not going to stop rotation. I'm just going to simultaneously push the clockwise and counterclockwise buttons without releasing. So you don't even need to take your finger off of the clockwise button before hitting the counterclockwise button when doing that motion. Simple and easy, the Tiger 110 electric machine.